what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back game of thrones we're back again last week i rushed essentially i had to rush that episode out but i still got my thoughts out about the episode and you know just like i anticipated while i was on on my flight um checking the comments that were coming in that early morning um i was like wow just as i predicted because i can i know when people are not going to agree with the things that i that that i say i know it and i'm not i don't say it to garner those comments it's not the reason why i do what i do i say things because that's exactly how i'm feeling about the situation now for all the people that commented about you know wait and see i'm not seeing you know the whole picture about auto auto shouldn't have done this or you shouldn't have done that and all of this other stuff. And my reply to that, I replied to one of the comments and I said, listen, everybody's playing the Game of Thrones at the end of the day. So you can't dismiss somebody for doing the exact thing that you know that everybody is doing. Viserys was wrong for dismissing Otto for that reason. Now, if people are going to say he got caught doing what he did, when? When did Otto do something so egregious to deserve this missile? When? Other than the fact that he was spying on Rhaenyra. That was the last, that was the straw? Because he was spying on Rhaenyra and the only reason why he decided to do it is because Rhaenyra told him, listen, I only do this willingly as a compromise. You're gonna have to fire Otto, period. That's the only reason why he did it. So don't make it seem like Viserys made this decision based on oh he was spying on Rhaenyra or whatever and however throughout all of that he knew right he was even even in the argument with Rhaenyra he was still defending Otto he was still defending him it's like oh you want me to get rid of the one person that's loyal he's been loyal to the throne for how long right and then people are saying oh he's finally calling Otto out the only reason why y'all are upset about it is because um is because he was he spied on Renera and told on her and by right and rightly so he should i would if i'm a father i would love to know if my if my daughter is out there whoring it up let's li li listen man a lot of people try to uh, are going to try to defend Renera and i get it i get it but i'm not I'm not defending her because when she does things that are right, I praise her. When she does things that are wrong, I'm not going to praise her. She had no business being out on the street. Something could have happened to her. That was the thing about it that I was worried about Moses. Something could have happened to Renera while she was out here running around with Damon. Something could have happened to her. You know what I'm saying? And that's why that soldier that she met up, it was like, you might not be as lucky as you are. You might not be so lucky next time. Simple. Right? She could have gotten hurt. Regardless of the situation that happened there. She could have gotten hurt. And I don't like the fact that she could have she could have gotten hurt. And then you have the nerve. After all of that. To lie about the situation. Now I understand. They didn't go all the way. That's cool. That's fine. They didn't go all the way. But she still ended up losing her virginity that night. I know you guys remember that scene right she still ended up losing her virginity so now your father have a very skewed vision of who you are right because he thought he had a certain type of person and now you know what i'm saying he doesn't know for sure because you can't admit to what you did right but nobody's talking about renera right because she's she's just the apple of everybody's eye nobody's talking about the, the weird stuff that she's doing the stuff that she's doing, not weird, but the stuff that she's doing, nobody is talking about it. And that's what I don't like is it's like, oh, auto, auto, auto. And my stance on auto. Right. Oh, I, I'm failing to see that that auto is bad. I, I mean, get, I guess I am just the blindest person in the world to not to 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 see that everybody is playing the Game of Thrones. Everybody is trying to prop up themselves for um for the king to see so they can be chosen in whatever way possible now is he trying to usurp the throne no he's not i don't believe so maybe something is going to happen down the line that changes my mind but right now as i'm diving into episode five of this show i don't see that 
maybe something is going to happen down the line. We're not there. I'm not there. I never read the books. I don't know what's going to happen. But either way, I'm back. I'm ready to watch some more House of the Dragon. And I just want people to keep it, keep it real, man. Keep it a hundred and don't be biased. Keep it a hundred right in the comment section. I welcome all the comments, all the dislikes, whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, keep it a hundred man and think about it for a second and don't think about it in a hindsight perspective. If you've read the book, okay. Think about it from a perspective of you just watching four episodes of something and judging a character, not because you know what's going to happen, but because you see what actually happened in those four episodes. Okay. And if you did that and you still come, come to the conclusion, um, you know, whether they be, they were hints foreshadowing, whatever the situation is. And I missed it. Then I can own up to that. But I hope you can own up to your mistakes as well. Simple. Let's jump into the reaction. I will see you guys right after for the review. Tomorrow, Lady Rear. Cousin? What's Lady today's Rhea. quarry? Rabbit? Deer. Oh, fine challenge. Care for some company? I'd rather ride alone. Good fortune to you. Is, is that Damon? Husband? Ain't no damn way this is the this is his wife that he's been What brings you to the veil? Are you serious? We'll have you at last come to consummate our marriage. Damn. Our sheep are prettier after all. Damn, that got back to her. Or perhaps your brother <laughs> has at last had his fill of your company. <laughs> what will you do now? Will you strike the child down? Or Talked about her like this? She not ugly. I knew you couldn't finish. Hey yo. Who's the new hand? I do not wish to see them. You chose Renira. She swore her innocence, and I believed her. You wanted to believe her, as did her father. Your informant was wrong, an honest mistake perhaps, but I did not foresee this. You should have. Listen to me, daughter. The king will die. It may be months or years, but he'll not live to be an old man. And if Ramirez succeeds him, war will follow, do you understand? The realm will not accept her, and to secure her claim, she'll have to put your children to the sword. She'll have no choice. You're no fool, and yet you choose not to see it. Hey. The time is coming, <laughs> Alison. Either you prepare Egon to rule, or you cleave to Rhaenyra and pray for well, her. I can mercy. only hope that this, the realm will change and accept her, or she'll probably just do it by force. To be honest, is he what not home? Your grace? What is uh, the meaning of Lena this? Lena is all grown up. Is this how House Valarian greets its king? My father has but just returned from his long journey, and he has hastened to the Hall of Nine to await your grace's arrival. A little disrespectful, but I'm not even going. Nine. King arrives, eh? Lord Larry. <laughs> Oh, greet a nigga. Oh, Valies. Rare bloom. State your purpose, my lord. I did wonder if she could be relied upon now that she's unwell. Unwell? I haven't heard anything. Fatigue. 
Yes. That the Grand Maester himself brought? At the direction of the King, as I understand it. I do hope she's not unwell. Rhaenyra sailed with the King to Driftmark yesterday at daybreak. Oh, what good news. I must have been in error. Probably going to check to see if she actually drank the tea, because that would simply mean that she actually did something. Your Grace. Though I do wish we could meet under happier pretenses. How so? Damon's wife, the Lady Rhea Royce, has passed. A hunting mishap. A hunting mishap. From her horse. Mayhaps we can turn toward happier pursuits. <laughs> What did you have in mind, Your Grace? I wish to propose a marriage between your son, Selena, and my daughter and heir, the Princess Rhaenyra. It's long past time our houses were united in blood, the last pillars of old Valyria. You honor both me and my house, Your Grace. There are certain details I would wish clarified before the Princess Rhaenys and I could accept this most generous proposal. We would like to know how the succession will be handled. Rhaenyra is my heir. Upon my death, my throne and my titles will pass to her. She and Selena's firstborn child, regardless of gender, will inherit the Iron Throne from her. In keeping with Westerosi tradition, their children would take their father's name. That they would be born Valarians. Surely, Lord Corlys, you are not proposing the Targaryen dynasty end with my daughter simply because she is a woman. Oh my god. Upon their birth, Selena and Rhaenyra's children shall take their father's name, Valarian, in keeping with our traditions. However, at such time when their firstborn ascends the Iron Throne, he or she will do so bearing the name Targaryen. Dragons will rule the Seven Kingdoms for the next hundred years, just as they did the last. Well, they, we got a compromise. It's just like, yeah, they can be the named Valerians, but if, but you know what I'm saying? Good. Like, I'm just saying though, <laughs> it's, it's like if any of your kids should take the throne, they're gonna be named Targaryens. They're not gonna be named Valerians. <laughs> I know this union is not what you would choose. I hold nothing against your cousin. But, dare I say it is a matter of taste. Matter of taste? I prefer roast duck to goose. I cannot say why. What are you saying? It's not for a lack of trying. I know that whatever. She's saying she don't like black guys. <laughs> 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 and he doesn't like white girls. What is, <laughs> what is this what interaction? That we perform our duty to our fathers and to the realm. And when it's done, each of us dines as we see fit. Oh, so she's promoting an open relationship. Okay. They grew up together. Familiarity is not at issue. I'm sure Lena was already taken with her. She's grown quite comely these last few years. You know his true nature. He's still is he young. gay? He will outgrow it. Oh, I think he's no gay. pleasure in the world, like... Bedding a woman. He likes dudes. All right. To Rhaenyra and so that's what it is. I thought it was like, oh, I don't like <laughs> white girls or something like that. Rhaenyra's succession will be challenged. Knives will come out for her, her husband, and for their heirs. Our house controls the realm's navy and half its dragons. Anyone fool enough to challenge Rhaenyra's claim will be crushed. It's what end, Corlys? Wealth, power, pride? Justice. I've always feared the day you'd have to marry a woman. That Rhaenyra will be queen of the Seven Kingdoms and you will be her king consort. <laughs> Think of the tournament, but the feasts, the battles at sea. 
Will you wear your crown today, your grace? <laughs> I don't remember anybody that was like You'll need a sworn protector. in Game of Thrones. Was there any gay people? I don't. I mean, there were dudes that were sleeping with other dudes, but was it like any prominent characters that was? I don't remember. I gave you all my bits. I've heard you say <laughs> so many times how you loathe the lot of your position that you are to be married off at your father's whim with no thought given to the yearning of your own heart. And now the day comes. Selena is a good and, and decent man, but you, you did not choose him. If there were another path, one that led to freedom, would you tread it? Are you asking for leave? I'm asking you to come with me. Really? You didn't see that coming, Renera? Away from your <laughs> but she's not going to choose that. Crazy. Of your inheritance. We'll leave that. Let's leave it all behind and see the world together. You could marry me. A marriage for love. Not for the crown. I already know. You should have known that coming in, but I, you know what I'm saying? Shoot your shot. You know what I'm saying? But she not, she not going to do that, bruh. Behind, man. I am the crown, So Kristen. Or I will be. And I chafe at my duties. But do you think I would choose infamy in exchange for a bushel of oranges or a ship to a shy? So Kristen, Lainor have and understand it yeah <laughs> he just wants you to be a hoe to pursue his own interests and in turn he's going to be the same it's the piece of meat for me to grind on every now and then i really want to hear I really want to hear what her response to this is because it's exactly what I've been here saying. I want us to continue as we began with you as my sworn protector, my white knight. I took an oath as a, as a knight of, of your king's guard, an oath of chastity. I've broken it. I I, I've I've sold my, my my white cloak. It is the only thing I have to my fucking name. Mm, she eat. See, this is the thing about it, right? This is the thing about it. And this is what I was saying. That in in the last episode where I talked about this stuff and people are coming down on me because nobody wants to address what Rhaenyra is doing. Nobody wants to address anything that she's doing. Right? Because everybody wants to prop her up. But no more. As I said, there's a bunch of drama queens, dude. That that are drunk with power. You get what I'm saying? Their character is their characters are so flawed and they don't even see it because the power is just so much. It's just like I'm you think that I would give up infamy for some mere oranges and stuff. That's how she she looks at that stuff. It's like, you think I'm gonna give up the Iron Throne for to run away with you? For love. Even though she said it, even though she said herself that she, that's you know what I'm saying, she wants freedom to do whatever she wants. Then give up the throne and everything. You don't need that. You get what I'm saying? You don't need that kind of power. You want to be out in the streets as a regular dude, just running up and down, do whatever you want, and don't adhere to the responsibilities that you have because of the name that you have? Then give it all up. Give it all up so you can have that. But no, you want to be on the throne so bad, but you want to have your cake and you want to eat it too. It does not work like that. And I hope that Sir Christian doesn't become a hole for her. I hope he doesn't. As if he does, I'm going to lose a lot of respect for her. And the same thing I was saying in the last episode where I said there is a vow that they take. And I, do, I just don't remember what it was. But he just said it just now. They take a vow of chastity. He broke it. That's what I'm saying. They can't have wives and stuff like that as a, um, as a king's knight, whatever, right? As a part of the king's guard. Like nobody, they can't have wives. And they take this, they take a vow of chastity. Right. So the, she's not supposed to be having sex. And he broke that for her. And now he wants to run away with her. And I get why he wants to run away with her. Because if they ever find this out, he getting killed. He's hurting, man. But 
It didn't mean Life nothing more than... larger than me. Larger than anyone in my family. I'm going to conquer, united, seven kingdoms, and put them on a path. Yeah. So, Kristen... Yes. Do not be a dick for her to sit on. Thank you. Walk the fuck away from this woman. You've been summoned. I left the princess just minutes ago. Not the princess, sir. The queen. By the queen. Oh. Um, Alison. Concerns our dear princess Rhaenyra. Please. You are her sworn protector and rightly loyal to her. Yeah. There has been a rumor. Or rather, my father received an accounting of He's going to protect her. He's not he's not going to say anything. May have occurred between How long? I, he's going to lie for her cuz he's got to protect himself as well. So he has to lie. I'm not unaware that in flush of youth there may be errors made. Breaches in resolve. <laughs> Breaches or rather lapses. It happened, Your Grace. Damn. I have committed it. He was. She wasn't even talking about him. At her instigation, it is true, but that should... It is no excuse. She wasn't even was talking broken. about you, my guy. I have dishonored myself. Bruh. I would ask only this. That rather than gelding me and having me tortured, you would sentence me mercifully to death. Damn, this man would choose death, bro. <laughs> Congratulations, Your Grace. You have made a fine match for the princess. Thank you, Lord Jason. I could think of no better man than Selena. Hope it's not a Where red wedding again. <laughs> I hope to pay my respects. Weird things always happen at weddings in this show. For the celebrations. This is why men wage war. Because a woman would never be ready for the battle in time. <laughs> that was a shot. <laughs> that was a shot. It was such a pleasure, Lord Jason. Princess. <laughs> Your grace. Damon the scorned. No fanfare. <laughs> this man is a menace, bro. You hate to like him, but you like him. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I didn't know you was going to show up. Hey, yeah, we'll put a chair and put some settings for Tonight you as well. Tonight is only its beginning. <laughs> we honor the crown's oldest and fiercest ally, House Valarian. Valarian. I got on there. I'm pretty Reaching sure I've been saying it right, but Valeria, and the age it, of it's dragons. so close with Valeria is crazy. With House Targaryen and ha Are you good, bro? Yo, is Allison going? Is she going? Say some shit right now, or is she just pulling up for the for the wedding? The beacon on the high tower. Do you know what color it glows when Old Town calls its banners to war? Green. Hey yo, this getting interesting. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations, stepdaughter. What a blessing this is for you. That was cold, bruh. Please be seated. <laughs> oh, Allison is ready now. It's like, you got my father fired. Damon wanted. Rhaenyra. <laughs> this man is like, oh, I should be dancing with Lord Lenore. <laughs> 
Grace. We thank you for coming, Uncle. I worried that, given leave of your father's shadow, you might wither in King's Landing's sun. But you stood tall. Know that Old Town stands with you. Wait a minute, this OST going ham right now. Mm. Okay. Right, don't cut the music, bro. <laughs> Sir Gerald Royce of Rumstown. And I am cousin to your late lady wife. Ah, yes. Terrible thing. I'm positively bereft. Such a tragic accident. You know better than anyone. <laughs> it was no accident. Are you confessing some guilt, Sir Gerald? I am making an accusation. You know, in King's Landing, men are made to answer for their slanders. Even old bronze cunts like you. <laughs> the truth is, I'm glad you've come. I wish to speak to you about my inheritance. She stood to inherit all of Runestone. Did she not? After my niece's wedding, I plan to fly to the Eerie and petition Lady Jane myself. Perhaps I'll see you there, Sir Gerald. An open accusation like that against a Tarkir. <laughs> I wouldn't do that, sir. <laughs> Yo, Viserys is looking at him like, did you really kill your wife, my nigga? He did. <laughs> I know who it is. Hmm? The handsome parable. Oh. Sir Kristen Cole. A sworn protector. Look at him. The man is fully constructed. <laughs> <laughs> Targaryen prince, a dashing like the under Pussy whipped. <laughs> you appear to be every young maiden's dream. This is a good thing. She knows your secret. And now you know it. They make a handsome match, don't they? What? Well, the princess and Sir Lane. You don't know me, Sir Kristen. No, but we are both deeply invested in this union. Sir Lane is quite dear to me. As I know, the princess is to you. And we should swear to each other to guard them and their secrets. Because if those are kept safe, and so are we all. Sagon, <laughs> Uh, this is not though. What? <laughs> What's going on? Yo, Kristen is fighting Lenor. Oh, it's not Lenor. It's um, is his boyfriend. So all yo he's oh no 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 you can't yo cave this man's face in what's the excuse for this Stand here tonight in thanks and praise to join two souls as one. So they just doing it now. Kristen is done, bro. Like he's like, yo, 
Stranger. Oh, this. <laughs> Yo, that man yeah, went black. No. Damn, didn't even kiss her on the lips. Damn. Put that makeup. I am yours and you are mine. He's gonna kill himself, bro. Like. Whatever you come. Here, in the presence of gods and men. To protect. Yeah, maybe he's just doing this to protect her. The and the secret is just House like, Galarian. if I'm dead, and he's dead. Rhaenyra of House Targaryen. To be man and wife. Sir Kristen. Alicent is gonna save him? Wait a minute, but she's at the wedding too. And what? Viserys. Damn, bro, that's crazy. This show is insane, bro. Like, it's too good. It's too good. And that is the reason why I continuously tell people, I don't know if, I don't know if everybody agrees with me for saying this, but I believe that if we had at the very least a decent, say a, to put it on a scale, right? If we had a seven out of 10 season eight for Game of Thrones, this Game of Thrones would have went down as the greatest TV show of all time in everybody that has watched it books because this really brings me back to watching the show, this house of the dragon. It brought, bring me back to a time when, when I was reacting to the show on my, on my older channel where I had to take all the videos down and whatnot, I binged watched it up until of course till the end of season seven because season seven was done when i started watching it and up until season seven and then i watched season eight alongside everybody else um and i was not impressed right i was not impressed i talked about how ridiculous the entire thing was it was just a big spectacle and most of it of course we can chalk it up to the fact that they didn't have any source material to really do anything. So they just kind of came up with their own ending of how it, it should end because they couldn't wait for some reason, even though Game of Thrones fans was waiting for years for season eight to come out, right? We, I, I think even now people would still be waiting on it if, you know, cause we know that, you know, George hasn't put out the, the um, I think the conclusion of the, the series in the books, right? So for me, when I watch this series, right and now i'm watching this i'm like these these are the kind of things that made game of thrones great the dialogue the way how the thing the way how the show is shot the, the contrast between the characters the character development all of this stuff that was present and was done so well in game of thrones was all forgotten about in i would say um you know what I'm saying? Season seven was, you know what I'm saying? You know, it, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Season seven. But it wasn't as bad as people tried to set it out to be, but it, it wasn't as bad. I enjoyed season seven, but season eight just went completely off the rails. You know what I'm saying? Just completely off the rails of, you know what I'm saying? If you, it was just a spectacle and I'm not here for spectacle. Like we get it. Dragons, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I like how this pulls back everything all of that spectacle and just concentrate on the characters and the game of thrones right and this is this episode is very interesting because it's exactly what i expected to happen between um kristen and renera because of this union i expected the exact same thing the thing was like she's gonna want you to just be her hoe and i'm glad that he refused to do that now, in terms of what happened at this, I don't know what you call this, the, the, I don't know what you call this, this festivity, you know, of introducing everybody to, you know, these two, it's like the, what you would call it. Um, they, they do this, like, what do they call it again? Um, it's like a dinner rehearsal, right? It's, it's like a dinner rehearsal that you have before weddings. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is very interesting because on where we go from here between these two characters because i don't know why exactly 
um sir Kristen decided to do this decided to kill this dude the boyfriend i don't know why why they got into an altercation um like exactly i could of course you know what i'm saying um based on what happened i could probably have a you know a suggestion on on what you know how he really felt about the entire situation and what this guy told him it's like hey you know what i'm saying we both gotta keep this secret now um and he probably just lost it he probably just lost it and be like you know what man you you know the secret i know the secret allison notices the secret i guess if both of us die the secret kind of dies with us you know what i'm saying so he was just like you know what i'm gonna beat this dude to a bloody pulp you know kill him and then take myself out and you know what i'm saying and just you know at least at the very end they will both be safe and they 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 they, they get to protect the realm or whatnot this was a very jam-packed episode of just characters just you don't know what their intentions are but it's but it's kind of like you you kind of know but you don't really know what their intentions are like especially with allison allison is it, it has gone from bottom tier to s tier villain right <laughs> you know what i'm saying like i did not expect i did not expect allison to be playing such a major role in this whole thing i thought she was just gonna be the queen you know what i'm saying the forgotten queen if you will um is it you know what i mean where she just like she's just playing playing a role she's the queen and you know what i mean um and nobody really pays her any attention but man did she make herself known in this episode she pulled up in the green dress right she pulled up in the green dress she's like yo i'm ready for prime time are you <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's like this this was just this was just to me it topped the last episode even though i thought that that was the height you know what i'm saying of things that could happen could definitely the best episode of the season with episode four but episode five my guy i heard people saying also that episode six is gonna be even better already like the people who had previews of the show people who previewed the show has said that um they 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 gotten to watch six episode and they told them specifically to watch all six episode before they give a review because the people who were putting out their reviews before the before house of the dragon like aired like officially like they said six episode and episode six is absolutely nuts like they told him specifically watch up until six episodes don't just watch two episodes and then give your thoughts watch all six episodes so i know that people talked about episode six so episode six might be even better than episode five they didn't tell us what happened in episode six i just said episode six is absolutely epic so episode six is an episode to look forward to so beyond that they haven't seen anything else um but man oh man was the show is the show amazing it really does bring me back to the days of watch of watching the the, the original game of thrones man like from from the start like those things the political aspect of it was just very palpable and now we are here with house of the dragon doing the same thing man this is so amazing like i can't tell you how much i'm like loving this show right now it's just to the point of where i'm just like yo the crazy things that are happening damon trying to tell us like is this what you want and renary is like yo if you want me take me you know what i'm saying <laughs> this is crazy talk and she's like yo if you know what i'm saying if you want i'm free you know what i'm saying go through all the king's guard you know what i'm saying and do what you need to do and we could go to dragonstone and get it and get it all <laughs> you know what i'm saying and this is the this is the thing where i'm talking about a lot of the different things with renera the things that i like and the things that i don't like about her character right and it's just nobody wants to call her out on the bullshit that she does nobody wants to call her out and i'm not trying to say that you have to be objective you can like who you want to like but also keep it a hundred keep it a hundred of how you feel about these characters don't hold your words back because you don't want to offend anybody's feelings you know what i'm saying at the end of the day these are characters playing in a fictional world at the end of the day so I'm going to be totally honest about these characters because as I said, 
I hate to like Damon because he acts like a spoiled brat. That's what he that really act like. He acts like a spoiled brat. He has power and he exercises it whenever he wants. But then when he gets reprimanded and stuff like that, he pouts. You get what I'm saying? Like you're doing stuff to upset everything. So when you get reprimanded, I'm just like, well, yeah, you deserve a whooping because you act out, right? You go home to the veil, you kill your wife, right? And which we know you did, right? Cause they showed it. They, well, they didn't show you exactly driving and finishing blow, but you riled her up. Cause she's, she's absolutely terrified of this dude. Even though she was talking shit, she's absolutely terrified of him. And that's the reason why the, the horse got scared and threw her off and she fell, she couldn't move. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling you this from experience, that is very true. That is something that can happen to you because that happened to me where you fall from a, from a height and you drop on your back and you can't move. You know what I'm saying? You can't move. You, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to breathe and stuff like that. Not only do you get the wind knocked out of you, it can possibly cause permanent damage, which I have. So I know that from experience, not from falling off a horse, but from a, something else that I was doing and falling like that it is not pretty. And you could end up, you know what I'm saying? It's a possibility if you fall hard enough, you could end up being paralyzed as well. Fortunately for me, that didn't happen to me. So he finished her off, no doubt. She, she passed, they said she passed. Um, you know, for all we know, maybe she, she died before Damon you know, but the, 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 the evidence is damning. You know what I'm saying? Maybe she died before he put the finishing blow, but the evidence is very damning. He picked up a piece of stone. He picked up a, a rock. So, you know, we can only assume that he actually finished her off, but I feel like he actually did. Cause he didn't like this woman. And, and the way how we talked about her and saying she's ugly and all of this other stuff. And I'm just like, I'm looking at this woman. I'm like, what? That woman is she's she's decent looking she's not you know what i'm saying she you know what i mean she's she's not a 10 but sheesh man making it the way how he was talking i thought this woman was gonna be hideous like maybe her nose is nose is bent the wrong way or or something of this that's what i was thinking about her to the way how damon described her but she's actually a decent looking woman like i would marry her shoot if she's a decent woman you know what i'm saying and does the thing um uh appeal to me but just from th the look that we had for her, i was like that's crazy that you know they paint her paint her like that and i'm like she, she's not that ugly i mean she's not she's not ugly at all period you know what i'm saying like the way how they were describing her but at the end of the day you know what i'm saying you know the king had to go to you know over there to you know propose the mat get the the marriage the together the houses together he had to go over there and ask for you know as you know what i'm saying you know you know um even though he you know he put his pride aside you know what i'm saying because he could because he knows that this dude wasn't gonna come to king's landing you know what i'm saying so he went there to him proposed the marriage to him and he was okay with it and you know they talked about you know family or the the details about it and stuff like that and Viserys basically told him it's like yo i don't care what you want to what name they take but if one of them, if, if one of those kids ascend to the throne, the heirs, they better have the name Targaryen. They're not going to have, um, Valerian. Like, no, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's going to be, they're going to be named Targaryen when they step on that throne. You, you best know that, <laughs> you know what I mean? So of, of course they agreed to everything, but then we found out that, um, Lenore is, is, is actually gay. Um, he likes, you know what I'm saying? He likes, he's, he likes other men, right? And then you have Renera likes Sir Kristen, but she don't want to let go of the power. So that confrontation on the boat between Sir Kristen and Renera was legendary for me because, you know, I, I like to see men that stand up for their values like that. Stand up for your values, 10 toes down. Don't let nobody fool you. You know what I'm saying? You know what you want. And as I said, I knew, I know exactly the type of person that Rhaenyra is. She's not the type of person who's going to let go of that power. You get what I'm saying? To go live in some small town somewhere with, 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 you know, with Kristen, like she's not that type of person. Um, so, you know, and, and that goes to show you as well that 
you know, majority of women would not give up that kind of infamy for, you know, for what Kristen was suggesting. Like I would argue that most women would not do that because that power is very enticing. She could be queen of the entire kingdom, all seven realms, all seven kingdoms or seven realms, whatever they call it. Right. She could be the queen of all of that. Why would she give that up for you, for love? You get what I'm saying? And you know, just like how men wouldn't do it. I don't think women would do it either. If it was proposed to them. So that's, it's a kind of a tough decision. Um, she doesn't strike me as the type of person that would do that. And as I said, the majority of humanity would not do that. You get what I'm saying? But I get where he's coming from, but that's what I'm saying. Like Renera is the type of person who wants her kicking. She wants to eat her cake. She wants, to eat, you know what I'm saying? She, and she wants to have it too. And unfortunately life doesn't work like that. And I'm glad that he stood on, he stood and he said, listen, I'm not going to be your whore, man. Like, I don't care what you say. I'm not going to be that person. I want to be with you. I want you for me. Men are very territorial. Okay. I want you for me. I don't care about all that power and stuff like that. I already essentially, you know, gave up myself for you. We have to take a vow of chastity, meaning we're never going to have sex as long as we were Kingsguard. And I did that with you because, you know what I'm saying? You forced, you, you essentially forced, well, I'm not going to use the word force, but you essentially put me in, put me in this position that I am in right now, because you knew I kind of liked you and stuff like that. And you kind of use that to get what you want. Now you got what you want. And now I want you. Now I want to be with you. Now I want you for me. And now you're being married off to some dude. And I'm supposed to just be here just to provide you with some dick whenever you want to come again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So this was a crazy episode, man. And then the whole wedding scenario, Allison stepping up. Um, she, she's going to be a player now. You know what I'm saying? I thought she was going to lay in the background, but she's pissed because she knows Renera's secret and Renera doesn't know that she knows she knows, but I'm wondering why Allison decided to save Sir Kristen from killing himself. I wonder what she's going to do with him. I, she might use him against her in some way. So Alicent is going to learn how to play the Game of Thrones. So that's exciting to see. Um, I don't know. You know, I'm seeing old towers over here saying, yeah, we with you, queen. You know, whatever you want to do, like we with you. You know what I'm saying? We we down. So that's cool, too. Like, it's crazy. Viserys is getting sicker and sicker every episode. This guy is going to die before the end of season one. Point blank period. There's no way season one is ending and Viserys isn't dead. He's going to die because this man just is deteriorating at a ridiculous rate. His body is just deteriorating. It's just getting sores all over. They already took off on his finger. Now his whole entire hand is rotting off. Like it's, it's just, it's insane <laughs> how he's just deteriorating. And then he coughed up blood during the celebration and whatever. I thought he was going to, I thought he was just going to die like right there. I thought he was just going to, Cause you know, these celebrations, they never go well. There's always something going on. Anytime you see people gather, man, in Game of Thrones, you gotta be weary. Cause something is gonna go down and something did go down. Kristen caved this dude's face in and now we're here. So this was an incredible episode, man. Loved it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well, man. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Of course, don't hold back. Dislike, like the video, whatever you want to do, comment. Um, I will see you guys next week, man. I appreciate y'all. Peace.